good work? It seems your connection level is increasing. As your connection level increases, larger quantities of resources will be made available to you at our facilities. Zero. Congratulations, Sam. I understand you now have access to a chiral printer. An extraordinarily useful device that can only function because of the manner in which our network utilizes the beach, enabling us to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, some have speculated that the chiral network might, in essence, be a time machine. That it is transmitting data into the past. Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network and the beach which we have come to rely on. One might liken our relationship with it to that of primitive man's fire. Is it useful? Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Furthermore, as the BTs are linked to the beach, it stands to reason that further study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. The same could be said regarding you, of course. <laughs> Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learn. You have my word. Good work. Access delivery terminal for further information. That thing you're holding is a crystal collector. Now, as the name suggests, it provides secure storage for any crystals you gather. Uh, 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 allow me to describe your quarry. Chiral crystals appear gold to the naked eye and are frequently found in formations resembling human handprints. The surrounding rocks and debris tend to float a few feet above the ground and they are most commonly found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Mm -hmm. Rain, floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look. Order assigned. Keep on keeping on. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Don't mind me. Hello.
weapons restrictions lifted. Sam, Cairo crystals are pretty small and can be difficult to spot with the naked eye. I'd advise you to use your ultra deck to point you in the right direction. If you want to survey a wider area, though, you might consider building a watchtower and relying on its sensors. simple though. Access the delivery terminal to drop off any chiral crystals you're carrying. Decontaminating soon. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Keep on keeping on. for us? These crystals only form in places with elevated carillion levels, which makes me wonder if expanding the network had something to do with it. <laughs> Damn, son. That is a lot of crystals. Maintenance and R&D will both get their fill, looks like. Excess chiral crystals can be deposited at any facility. They'll be added to the stores held on site. 
These local stores include materials that you can draw upon to fabricate equipment as needed. Container repair spray for patching up cargo containers. Good for dealing with time fall degradation and all that. Useful stuff if you and your cargo have been through the ringer. We've added it to your supply. between elevated Corellian levels and increased crystal formation. This may well be the result of the network's expansion. You needn't worry, though. Local chiral density is still within an acceptable range. If you find any more, be sure to collect it. You'll be well rewarded. If you come into more chiral crystals, you can submit them at one of our facilities. And you can deposit other resources, too, along with any items you don't need. Everything has its value. What we don't use as is, can be broken down into components for R&D and other applications. <laughs> <laughs> 